Hi, my name is Tim. Thank you so much for joining me today. Grab your stacks because we're about to watch Game of Thrones Season 1 Episode 3, Lord Snow. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome. Every week I check out films and TV shows that I haven't seen before. We're starting off the Game of Thrones series, so if you want to watch the entire series with me, hit the subscribe button. It's really appreciated. So far, loving this series. If you haven't seen the reaction to the two first episodes, you can check the link in the description below to check out my Game of Thrones playlist, as well as all of the other movies and other stuff that I've done on the channel. Last episode ended on a pretty dark note. Well, first of all, at the end of the episode, Bran woke up. So finally, we're going to be getting the truth, you know, getting his point of view that he did not just fail. And we also got the death of the direwolves, if I am correct. By the way, so some of the terms, some of the stuff, you know, if I'm not that great, pardon me for that. A lot of lore, a lot of world building. So really excited about this to go in deeper into this. But we had the killing of the direwolf and also the butcher's son. You know, pretty brutal. You see that the king, you know, everything that has to do with the royalty, you do not mess around with that because there are consequences. So... That's it. I'm going to be watching the whole episode, but going to be cutting it down for YouTube. If you want to see the full-length reaction, want to watch the entire episode with me, you can check out the link in the description below to check out my Patreon. Also get early access to the future episodes for one season in advance over on Patreon. So that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. Let's check out episode 3. All right, all right. That's true. There's no recap in the beginning. Huh? It goes directly into it. Right off the bat, let's go. No time wasted. All right, are we finally gonna be seeing what's on the other side of the wall? Apart from ice, game of thrones. Welcome, Lord Stark. Grand Meist of High South has called a meeting of the small council. Get the girls settled in. I'll be back in time for supper. Jory, you go with them. Yes, my lord. Like to change into something more appropriate. Change into what? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think he's gonna be changing. Huh? Thank the gods you're here, Stark. Oh God, it's About Prince time Charming. Has to northern leadership. The king shits and the hand wipes. Oh God. Oh boy. <laughs> don't say you're not jealous of him. Seriously. <laughs> Swinging at me for years. They always seem to miss. Already see a little rivalry. I'm standing. Right here wouldn't happen. They didn't deserve to die like that. Oh, God. Nobody deserves to die like that. But you just stood there and watched. 500 men just stood there and watched. He was one of them. All the great knights of the Seven Kingdoms. You think anyone said a word, lifted a finger? And this room was silent as a crypt. Except for the screams, of course. Okay, come on. You don't have to do this right now. Seriously. I remembered him laughing as your father burned. It felt like justice. Why, this is dark, seriously. We are all praying for Prince Joffrey's full recovery. Shame you didn't say a prayer for the butcher's son. Hey! Oh. Oh. <laughs> and you look tired from the road. Should we begin? What is it exactly? Without the king. Winter may be coming, but I'm afraid the same cannot be said for my brother. <clears throat> His grace has many cares. He entrusts some. Many cares? Oh? That we might lighten the load. We are the lords of small matters here. So any task that he doesn't want to do, just puts it off. <clears throat> he was talking about drinking and uh, having fun. In honor of Lord Stark's appointment as Hand of the King. Mm. Oh, How much? shit. 40,000 gold dragons to the champion. 20,000 to the runner-up. I'll have to borrow it. The Lannisters will accommodate, I expect. We already owe Lord Tywin three million gold. What's another 80,000? Are you telling me the crown is three million in debt? I'm telling you the crown is six million in debt. Oh. How could he let this... Oh, boy. This tournament is an extravagance we cannot afford. As you will, good, but still, good. we'd best make our plans. There will be no plans until I speak to Robert. We're still going to plan it, huh? We're not going to talk to him, but we're still going to do it. <laughs> Son, I had a long ride. You are the king's hand, Lord Stark. We serve at your pleasure. So we got some power, huh? So what, she's like the second in command, the second strongest. I didn't fight off anything. It bit me and all I did was scream. And the two Stark girls saw it, both of them. That's not true. Do something nice for the Stark girl. I don't want to. No, but you will. The occasional kindness will spare you all sorts of trouble down the road. We allow the Northerners too much power. 
They consider oh, themselves our equals. Come on, come on. Even the mom that I don't like, you know, she's more reasonable. And command them to supply 10,000 men to the Royal Army. Whoa, Royal Army. where is this coming Why from? Every Lord Shit. Command his own men. It's primitive. No better than the hill tribes, we should have a, a standing army of men loyal to the crown. Seize Winterfell hey. and install someone loyal to the realm as warden he of the north. He is Lord. gonna be a ruthless king, seriously. Would they fight for you or their lord? For me, I'm their king. Mm -hmm. You've just invaded their homeland, asked them to kill their brothers. And when the winter comes, the seven gods together couldn't save you and your royal army. What happened a good during king the knows winter? when to save his strength and when to destroy his enemies. The Starks are enemies. No, they're not. Everyone who isn't us is an enemy. I guess. Family first. Lady, <laughs> eat your food. I'm practicing. Practicing for what? The prince. Oh, yes. Stop. <laughs> He's a liar and a coward. <laughs> he killed my friend. I get it. I get it. Uh... Where did you get this? Little lady shouldn't play with swords. I wasn't playing. And I don't want to be a lady. Come here. I played with a name. Yeah. And who you're hoping to skewer with needle? The prince. We're gonna get the prince. <laughs> you know the first thing about sword fighting? Sticking with the pointy end. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yes, She's right. <laughs> he is a liar. Yeah, I yeah, he is. Me. Yeah, they're probably all listening. Uh, so. Sansa will be married to Joffrey someday. She must take his side, even when he's wrong. Oh, boy. But how can you let her marry someone like that? Oh, oh, my. Seriously, at that young of an age, she is so You're smart. You're a Stark of Winterfell. You know our words. I know a story about a crow. I hate your story. I know a story about a boy who hated stories. Okay, come on, come on. I could fear this for the long night, when the sun hides for years. Is the winner really that bad? I get a feeling that winter is not like the winter that I know, like long periods of time, not just like a season. So like a couple of years, like of good temperature and then like winter for like years on end. Tons of years ago, there came a night that lasted a generation. Kings My. froze to death in their castles so that their babies, rather than see them starve, and wept and felt the tears freeze on- My God, what are you doing? You want to traumatize them? Seriously? <laughs> a story that you like. Uh, I want to go back to sleep. <laughs> In that darkness, the White Walkers came for the first time, oh. hunting with their packs of pale spiders, big as hounds. Why are you scaring him so much? <laughs> I've seen you climb a thousand times. In the wind, in the rain. A thousand times. Never fell. You never fall. I did, though. I just think he doesn't want to cause any trouble. He remembers, but he... What my Lewin says about my legs. I'd rather be dead. Oh, come on. Don't say that. I'd uh, rather be dead. No. Worm! You come take on. me for some back alley Sally you can drag into a... Disrespect. <laughs> oh, boy. To you, of all people. How Valerian Steel. Do you know whose dagger this is? I must admit I do not. But I know somebody who does. Well, <laughs> well, does. this is an historic day. It's mine. Yours? At least. Tournament on Prince Joffrey's last name day. I bet on Sir Jamie and the Jack. Yeah, is the Lannisters. The would. Tyrion Lannister. Oh. The imp. Fred, show him what you farm boys are made of. Okay, so what's his weapon? <laughs> Oh, 2v1! There's only so much I can stomach in a day. Oh boy. Charming man. <laughs> I like I don't him, I love him. Charming. I need him to turn this bunch of thieves and runaways into men of the night's watch. And how's that going, Commander Moment? You guys only started, alright? Give yourself a bit of time, okay? Couple months. For Ned Stark's son. Good news or bad? Both. I thought that she'd be safest in here. One of several such establishments I own. Oh, he owns this place. <laughs> You're a funny man. Huh? A very funny man. <laughs> oh. Ned! Oh. Quick tempers, slow minds. We're good at fighting, though. We threw you over the wall. I wonder how long it'll oh, take you to hit. I wonder if they'd find you before the wolves did. What you looking at, half man? I'm looking at you. Yes. He's in trouble. 
You've he got is an in interesting... big, big trouble. Mm. Very distinctive faces. What do you care about our faces? He's going to remember it's your just... faces. <laughs> I think they would look marvelous decorating spikes in King's Landing. Perhaps hey. I'll write my sister, the Queen, about it. <laughs> yeah. And we'll talk later, Lord Snow. The mere suggestion that the Queen's brother tried to kill your boy would be considered treason. We have proof. We have the blade. Which Lord Tyrion will say was stolen from him. The only man who could say otherwise has no throat. Oh thanks to your boy's my. wolf. Oh. I've never been able to refuse your wife anything. I will what? What? <laughs> what does that friend. mean? Don't All tell right. anyone. Alright, he's friends I have a reputation to maintain. Oh. He's a child. Ten years old. What were you thinking? I was thinking of us. You're a bit late to start complaining about it now. Oh, shit. Nothing. He said nothing. He remembers nothing. Are you sure about that? What are you that? raving about? We'll say whatever we like. I think we can outfox a 10 year old. And my husband. I don't know. I think you can trust kids. In most cases, like, why would they lie about it? Lancel. Gods, what a stupid name. Who named you? Some half wit with a stutter. Ah, <sighs> oh, come on. Come on. You don't have to roast him like this. Uh. What do you mean it's empty? There's no more wine. Is that what empty means? No more wine. <laughs> So get more. All right. Excited to see when everybody's gonna be meeting up because you know we're having different stories. We're walking with them. You know, a couple minutes every episode. Hopefully, you know, soon we're all gonna be mashing together. Dothraki buy their slaves. The Dothraki don't believe in money. Most of their slaves were given to them as gifts. You see the horde approaching. You have two choices: pay tribute or fight. An easy choice for most. Yeah, uh, most won't want to fight with them. Of course, them, sometimes it's not enough. Tell them all to stop until I command them otherwise. Oh, okay. Starting to use her power. Oh, all right. All right. A Khaleesi. What's her husband going to say about this? Huh? I like it, you know. She's already a lot more confident than at the beginning when we first met her. You dare! You give commands to me. To me. What? You do not command the dragon. I am lord of the seven kingdoms. Oh my kingdoms. god. I don't take orders from seven. What are you? Do you hear me? What are you doing? Please don't hurt him. <laughs> Tell him. I don't want my brother harmed. Kalisi <gasps> vosalo <gasps> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Jeffkin. Well, you deserved it. Kill these Dothraki! Ah, oh, come on, come on. Don't punish him. I am your king! No, you're not. You're not. You don't have any Shall power we return here. return to the Kalisar, Kalisi? <laughs> Just go back. Uh, <laughs> he's not used to getting treated like this, huh? Well, that's what you deserve. What a wall. Seriously. Huh. I don't know why, but I'm so impressed. Every time I see it, I'm like, oh yeah. I'm reminded how huge it is. It is humongous. You're heading down to King's Landing too. Aye. Day after tomorrow. Let's share the road. I could use some decent company. We'll be staying at the finest castles and inns. All right, no all right. No one turns away Lannister. <laughs> At Jahaka. Ah, all right. She's making an effort at learning the language. No, no, she's pregnant. Seriously, already? Shit. <laughs> all right. Uh, congrats, I guess. The Khaleesi have baby inside her. Yeah. It is true. She does not bleed for two moons. Her belly starts to swell. Oh. Oh. She does not want to eat horse. Oh, this is bad, eh? I'll have the boys butcher a goat for supper. Does that mean if she has a child, you know, the royalty, like, next on the line is gonna be the child, it's not gonna be the brother, right? I'll catch you. Huh? The hoard's easy to find. This summer has lasted nine. So it's gonna be but a reports long reports from winter. the Citadel tell us the days grow shorter. Fishermen of Lannisport say they see mermaids. What are our rangers? You're gonna be surprised once you see the Night Walkers. You're gonna be surprised. I the moment Ned Stark chopped his head off. The Night's Watch is the only thing standing between the realm and what lies beyond. 
Oh boy, uh, gotta bring more people in, all right? We need, we need a bigger army right now. There are less than a thousand of us now. You can't man the other castles on the wall. Merak. She already knows. Anna. She got a feeling. Good. This already looks a lot more like a relationship, you know, <laughs> a lot, a lot more than before. Why not? If you see my brother Bram, tell him I miss him. Tell him I'd visit if I could. Of course. I'll never walk again. If you're going to be a cripple, it's better to be a rich cripple. Well, that's true. That's true. Farewell, that's true. my lord. At least he can be fed. You know, he can have servants bringing stuff to him or you just transporting him everywhere. Boy. Your dancing master, Sirio Forel. Sirio. All right. Come on. It's too heavy. It is heavy as it needs to be to make you strong. Just so. Perfectly balanced. Is all as all things should be. Now you are standing, old Rob. Turn your body side face. Nine years, Sirio Forel was first sword to the Sea Lord of Brav. Never drop your sword. He knows these things. You must listen to me, boy. I'm a girl. Boy, girl. You are a sword. That is I love him. is the grip. You are not holding a battle axe. All men are made of water. If you 75%, 80%. The water leaks out. And they die. That's a way to say it, you know. I like it, you know. He's toning down his learning, you know, to teach it to a child. <laughs> got a bit of learning to do, but got to start somewhere, right? Oh, the dad hired him, huh? The dad knew she wanted to fight, huh? What a nice dude, seriously. <laughs> hey. Face changed quickly, huh? Hey, sees what could eventually happen. Oh, it went by so fast. Seriously, it's been an hour. All right, <laughs> I guess tune in next week, same time, episode four. Subscribe if you're not yet. Lord Snow, season one, episode three. Nice to see him in action. How he is so strong was able to. You know, fight off a couple of dudes at the same time. So he's going to be the new leader of the Night's Watch, if I understand this correctly. Going to help train the newbies, basically people from anywhere. You know, people that just are there for honor or just, you know, want to be fed. But don't have anything better to do. But they're definitely going to need a lot of men. I think they said they had around a thousand men or so. Going to need a lot more for winter especially with long periods of time uh, like this i thought it was seasons like we're used to but apparently it's over years like it was a good period like the summer for eight or nine years and now we're going to be having long long periods of winter that's why they keep on saying winter is coming and also they and also Darius. Is that her name? Is that how I said the Darius uh, Amanda Clark? She's pregnant. All right. So gonna have a uh, little babies quite soon. I think each episode we're skipping a time frame of a month or so. Well, that's been it since uh, the last two episodes. Since we have a lot of traveling to do between places, you know, between these kingdoms, we're not uh, generally nearby. A couple kilometers in between. Was nice to see Aria start get a bit of training there at Vienna, you know. She was more in her element, just fighting, having fun. But Ed, he seemed, uh, I, I don't know, he seemed kind of stressed at the end. His face changed pretty quickly, you know, was all happy and then just became serious. So, yeah, I don't know. I see having visions, thinking of what's coming, winter's coming, how it's going to be brutal. A lot of people dead. But yeah, looking forward to seeing uh, fights, more action in the near future. If you want to see the full length reaction, want to watch the entire episode with me, you can check the link in the description below to check out my Patreon. We're one season in advance, so if you want to binge watch with me, check that out. Really supports me, supports the channel, and that's it. Tune in next week, next episode, and if you want to watch another video, check out these ones over here. Do a ton of other movie reactions and other stuff, so you know, check it out.